Live Show. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little hard to hear you guys. Um, Trish is just getting a glass of water. Okay. All right. That's a little better. What, uh, so this is Katie? This is Katie. Katie Allman and Trish Renoni from uh, My Roommates and Escort. Woo! Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I got my brows did. You got, you, you got, her powers up. No, what, they tattooed each little hair on one at a time, and I wow. got the numbing because it would take 20 extra minutes. So does this mean you never have to do anything to your brows again? Well, you do it like every couple of years. You got to get them retatted. You got to get the the ink fresh, right? Yeah, you got to get fresh ink every couple of years. Slambo, would you do that? Tattoo your eyebrows on? No, nah, man, I got them bushy Guido ones. Right? <laughs> I would do it, but I would make it look like I was shocked all the time. <laughs> it's a surprise. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I should look in the mirror. Maybe that's what I got done. Did they get? Did they do that to you? I think they might have. I should check. They no, call, she was awesome. They call You're it just an overly expressive actress. Mm -hmm. They call it. I just shit my pants eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can play um, shock. Shocked and surprised. That is my acting range. That's like all of Slambo's girlfriends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they were all psycho. <laughs> psycho. <laughs> so, Who uh, had psycho girlfriends? This guy. Yeah. Who has the, the yeah. Lamborghini? Oh, everybody here. Everybody's psycho Except lady. Slim. Everybody. He's not a girlfriend. People are just psycho. People are just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they're just eating and talking. <laughs> How We're long? eating lots of candy right now, by the way. What so kind of candy? Jelly, belly beans, and chocolate. Fuck yeah. So that means like... Yeah, we're all gonna. We got Reese's. We got Reese's peanut butter cups with pieces. I got fucking cheese it here. <laughs> I also got a bag of uh, pop tarts, and Slim's got a pop tart whiskey drink. Uh, I went in the bathroom and ate a cat. <laughs> I hope that was no one. <laughs> that was Slim's dick. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> I was so do we? Just that <laughs> you guys are having more fun than us. <laughs> This is... Usually we're the people in the room that are laughing away and looking like idiots. Yeah. No, that's... Yeah. <laughs> that's us, too. It's because I have bigger tits than most women. <laughs> you met our match. <laughs> wow. What, uh, what, how long did it take to make the, the to make uh, my roommates an escort? Um, It took us a year and a year. It took us more or less a year and a half, totally. Yeah, from the start of like from writing until now. Mm -hmm, from inception till now. And you guys, you guys act in it. Do you do anything else in the in the show? Yeah, we act in it. Katie directed it. I directed it. We co-wrote it. Mm -hmm. Have you not seen it? I seen the whole thing. I, I really enjoyed it. Oh, okay. So Katie, uh, that's me. I play Kesha, and Trish plays Heather. Yes. What um? Who are the other actors that you have in it? Like, how, how did you go about finding them? Well, I knew a lot of them, um, and I work in a casting studio as my day job. So um, we just I, we basically just cast people we knew. Yeah, whenever we were writing a character, Kate, we would be like, who's good for this? And Katie would be like, mm, I know who's good for this. He came into the casting office like three days ago. He's awesome. Yeah. Let's ask him. Yeah. So, like, she would, every time we were writing a character, she would, like, throw. I would know, like, exact okay. ideas of who would play yeah. that character well. Cool. And real quick. Yeah, oh. most of them said yes. Yeah, they did. Could you give our, our audience a synopsis, a brief synopsis of the show? So, yeah. yeah. So, um, Sault Ste. Marie Girl, which is a smaller city um, where I, Trish, actually grew up, moved to Toronto, and she needs a roommate. She puts out an ad online, and then Kesha, Katie's character, answers that ad. And there are a few red flags in the initial interview, or something's a little off, because um, they're very different girls. Yes. But they're still, they have their, they kind of connect, and Heather kind of thinks Kesha's like a cool girl. So it's that there's always this like moment when you meet another girl that you think is cool. Um, where you have like a bit of a girl crush. Is that what it is? And I feel like, 
Yeah, you get this, like, girl crush. Well, I get it anyways. This is Trish. Like, if I see a cool girl that I, I don't know, want to be friends with, I might have, like, a gut feeling that there's, I might not totally mesh with this girl's lifestyle. Or maybe she's into some stuff that I don't necessarily, that I'm not into. But um, there's always that kind of moment of, like, I want things to work out. Mm. It's like when you start dating someone, like, this person's cool, and I, I want them to be what I want them to be. And then it turns out that they're not. Nice. So, yeah, Kesha basically ruins Heather's life. <laughs> and, she, and, and she may or may not be an escort. Hey, that's what I'm saying. You don't even, you don't even really know, right? No. Except for Daddy. The, the, she definitely banged him, right? Like, that's kind of... <laughs> that... Yeah, yes, that's the only person you know that she... <laughs> that you know. But I love the landlord. What's his name? Oh, my God. Golden Jimmy. Golden Jimmy. Golden Jimmy. He's a bit of a problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she, she solves the rent issues with him, and we don't know how. Yes. Miraculously, the, rent, the rent's paid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> What's... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is uh? What's individually? What is your favorite scenes in in the series? Um, Heather shitting. Yeah, I have fun. That's my I favorite. I have fun with the shitting scene. Shitting in the, um, shitting in the front yard. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. I also like the mobster scene when they like carry us into the the SUV. Oh, it was like raining that day. Um, I also like the most awkward scene to shoot was like, it's in the second episode and we like, we're dancing. Like I just move in and then we're dancing and we literally shot that. That was like the first scene that we shot of the entire series. So we had like 30 crew members in my apartment and there was like all these dudes that we had never met before and we had to like dance to like no music. And that was just like a really awkward to shoot, but also like really funny. Yeah, they were like, well, "What is going on?" Yeah, they were like, "What scene is this?" Start dancing, Slambo. Oh, oh come on! <laughs> I was trying to get our intern to dance. Oh. He, did, you ever, not... did you ever open a book and just read the letters in front of you? I like that. <laughs> Turns me on. <laughs> you sound like you sounded like Homer Simpson when you did that. When you said that. I never, I never get that. <laughs> has has the series been getting good reviews? Yeah, mm -hmm. you got some great reviews in the the Globe and Mail. You're on E Talk CTV, which is a national talk show. They talk about Justin Bieber and us. And you? That's that's all they talk about. Yeah. I like that. Um, um, what else? We've done like a ton of. Podcast. Podcast. Um, magazine. Magazine. Interview. Yeah, so... People, people are going to like it. Yeah, it's exceeding our expectations. <laughs> how people are reacting to it. It's good, and we're having some meetings, trying to develop it further. That's what I was going to ask. Is there going to be another uh, season coming out? Well, we came up with a half-hour TV pilot idea, so... Sweet. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully that ends up... Filmed at some point. Hopefully someone pays us to shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be nice to be able to do this for a living. Well, you could do it for favors. Like, like, just like Kesha does. Like Kesha. <laughs> like Kesha. Yeah. Real, real right. quick, it's, it's get, we got to wrap it up in a few minutes, but do you guys have any real uh, stories from having roommates? Like any bad, bad experiences? I've had a roommate who just, like, wouldn't pay rent. That was really annoying. Same here. I had one who... Um, stole money and then one who well this well yeah one who um uh, i found um uh, my blanket from my bed went missing and i found it in the bottom of her closet and her dog had peed all over that it and it was like his pee blanket <laughs> she didn't ask me if she could have it oh did you did you wash it did you take it back i would have just pissed I on all her shit back. i would just pissed on everything she had yeah, maybe I should have peed. From now on, moving forward, if I have a roommate that does something annoying, I'll just pee on yep. other stuff. That's I'll biblical. That's eye for an eye. Yeah, <laughs> eye for an eye. I like that. Yeah, that's how we like to. That's how we operate. You pee on my stuff. I pee on yours. Yeah. I'll do it anyway. I don't even give a shit. You know, I'm looking for a roommate, and I like to be peed on. <laughs> that's 
That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that ad? That, that, that sounds more like a dating profile. It sounds like yeah, Jimmy Norton's like Tinder. Tinder profile. <laughs> uh, I you're... put that I'm looking for a roommate on my on my dating profile. That's because that was called the too. roommate issue, it's... and just get right to it. Just move in with I'm the gonna, guy. I'm gonna put the. <laughs> I'm gonna put the <laughs> listing up on. <laughs> I'm gonna put the listing up on Craig's <laughs> pissed. <laughs> Trisha, Katie, we got to wrap this up. But where can everybody find you guys? www.myroommatesandescort.com. Twitter at escort roommate. Instagram at my roommates and escort. And Facebook, Facebook us, my roommates and escort. Awesome! Thank you guys. Woo! Thank you so much, guys. Thank yep. you. Have a good no one. Problem. Bye. Bye. Is there nothing better than two babbling broads? No. <laughs> there is nothing better. Not much, my friend. Not much.